it's beer review time. Are sort of have something like Scott Rail. The Scott Rail is yeah. it is the public transportation train in Scotland. Okay. It is considered the worst possible form of transportation. Okay. It's it's like our subway system sphere. Okay. But like there's so much crime and the I was yeah. named Scott Rail Ale. That's what we're nice. naming. Nice. I love it. So all the names have a meaning behind them. So we're gonna try the Langard now, and that is your Irish red yes. ale, so it's Gonna get you a little drunk, but yeah. it's not too bad. It's 6.9%. Yeah, this, this one here is the two time 1999 and 2000 Ohio Craft Beer Cup gold medal winner. And I'm gonna, I want that third and fourth year coming up too. Um, I've already, I've been drinking this throughout the interview, and this I've had what, other ones, and I think you're gonna get. Yeah, this is what made us sort of, sort of, you know, known. So it's very like. Almost earthy. It's a nice, a nice malt hit, and that's a little bit yeah. of sweetness in the odor. And once you sip it, all that malt comes forward. Perfect balance on the hops, carbonation there. It is a little more crisp. The aftertaste is real light, not too not too heavy at all, and it's definitely it does it is medium body. Yes. Yeah, I can tell that. Wow, that is really good. It is. It is good. You can. I can tell you've uh, you've mastered this one. Yeah, you can. You can have a couple of those. That we mm. used to only run that around St. Pat's Day. Yeah. And it was so popular when we were home brewers that we just made it all the time. So here we always have that on draft. It's one of our constants. It's always on. It's always. It's so March. good. It's so good. It's always March. That's yes. right. I love that. Wow. Hmm. Fantastic. So 6.9 ABV, um, the Langard Irish Red Ale. My rating is 9.5. Right. It is outstanding. I, I mean, nobody's going to be a perfect 10. That's the highest I've ever rated anything. Nice, thank you. It is excellent. It's not too heavy. It's not bitter at all. It's got a very, very balanced flavor. I mean, it is wonderful. Mm. I'm definitely glad that you poured me a whole one of those. Because yes. I will be partaking in that in the next couple of minutes. All right, we got one more to do, and then we're gonna wrap this baby up. So, where is my six? Fat, fat orange. Now, those two beers are what the Akron Rubber Ducks chose to be at the ballpark this year to start nice. the season, and then about a third of the way into the season, we may or may not switch it up. Um, okay, so um, the fat orange cat is your Hefeweizen. Well, it's a derivative of our Hefeweizen. Okay, Normally, okay. Fat cat is our regular Hefeweizen. Okay. The fat orange cat is infused with about 400, 500 pounds of blood orange. So it'll give it a nice little refreshing uh, crisp And you notice scent. my glass is almost done because I've been drinking it the whole time. I love a Hefeweizen. I just love it. It's wonderful. It just has that. It's the original hazy beer. I just, I've always liked it. And especially after going to Oktoberfest, like I'm a fan. And my husband is too. And he's not a big IPA guy either. Like I'm not a big hop head. Um, but uh, he loves a good Hefeweizen. Okay, so the um, ABV on this is 5.9%, so low. You know you can drink this yeah, it's a, pretty much all night. For World of Half A's, it's a little on the high end, but it's still yeah. within the realm of... So, I mean, right away, I, I can smell the orange. Yeah. And it has that... 
the Hefeweizens always has that Hefeweizen smell. I don't know what it is, if it's the yeast uh, well, or the wheat. The, the yeast creates a, kind of a clove and banana exactly. little overtone to it. That aroma so, and the, the so taste. We, we try to keep the effects of the clove and the banana balanced, you know, left oh. and right. And then but we'll, I can definitely smell the orange in here. And, yeah, we amp it up with the flavor And it's butter. very light, too. Some Hefeweizens are a little bit darker. Yeah. Tone? Well, tone, they have a little more haze. A little more too. haze, but uh, definitely hazy. Oh, yeah, it's the right. original hazy beer. Mm. It's clean, it's crisp, bright orange. It is clean. I can definitely get the aftertaste, dur or dur the orange flavor during and after. Very refreshing. Of course, I, I can't remember what the the carbonation level was on that. Because uh, it's been sitting out for a little bit. Yeah, but, see, um, off, off the start. Very I, crisp. I, I carbed that one to about a uh, 2.59 okay. volumes of CO2, almost a 2.6. Yeah. So once it goes through transfer to fill in the kegs, I'm going to see about 2.5, 2.52 in there. There's yeah. Good level of carbonation. Very, very refreshing. If you like a good Hefeweizen, it's light though. Some Hefeweizens are very heavy with that banana clove flavor. And this one is totally not. Now, I'm not sure what your regular one tastes like because this one has the added orange yeah. flavor. But I'm telling you, it is wonderful. Okay. You really, with the blood orange, just, I don't know, you knocked it out of the park. So my rating on the fat orange cat Hefeweizen from Missing Falls Brewery is 9.6. I can't right. help it. I love the Hefeweizen. I love it. It is so good. And I, I'm curious to know what your regular recipe is. But I'll tell you what, if you keep the, yes. the orange one, I'm coming back. Well, the regular ones, that without the orange. Yeah, it's, it, it's just so good. It is so good. So, um, thank you so much for having me today. Thank you for stopping in. And